Here with UWL head wrestling coach Dave Malachick as we preview a big week for the Eagles. Two home meets this week. Uh, coach, let's first talk about uh, let's talk about the national duels first. Sure. Uh, a couple weeks ago, you, you were off last weekend because of the weather. Just talk about the national duels uh, uh, down in Cedar Falls last, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was great to be back uh, in the Uni Dome there on campus of the University of Northern Iowa in Cedar Falls, Iowa. It was good to be back. It was easy travel for us. We had a great uh, following of our family and friends that were down there with us and. Finished up uh, in third place. We were seated third. We got beat in the semifinals by Warburg, who went on to uh, win the national championship, uh, beat Augsburg in the finals. So quality teams, 24 really good teams there. I felt like our guys battled really hard. We had a good first win, opening win over Milliken. We had a really tight match, uh, one-point duel with Whitewater in the quarterfinals, got beat in the semis. And then we responded with this kind of group of guys that we got and bounced back and beat a really good uh, North Central team for third and fourth. Uh, like I said, big week this week. Let's start with uh, Thursday night, uh, right back to Whitewater. Uh, you're ranked number three, Whitewater's number 10. Talk about yeah. the uh, the WIC match Thursday night. Well, I tell you what, every time we wrestle Whitewater, and, and just a lot of respect out uh, towards their program and what they're doing, but uh, man, anytime you get in a duel with those guys, it doesn't matter who's ranked what, and it, it comes down, it's just going to be a, a slugfest. And you get two teams battling out in the WIAC and here at home, which is nice for us. I mean, it's been a tight duel every time we've wrestled them. and. We really hope that, uh, you know, we just got to keep battling and keep getting better. Did we improve these last two weeks since we saw them at national duels? And so a lot of ranked guys, a lot of key matchups. You're going to see some rematches, hopefully, of uh, what we saw at national duels. Uh, some of the matches we lost, we got to try to flip a couple of those and a couple of other ones where we got beat really big or got pinned. We got to narrow that decision. So that's really big. And them being ranked 10th, and I think it gives you a little preview of what's going to happen at the, uh, the WIAC championships along with Eau Claire in there. And, our whole conference but man that's that's the most important date right now on our calendar is thursday and we get through thursday and we gotta make it to saturday yeah and then augsburg comes on on, on saturday it's uh, senior day as well yep uh, they're number uh three in the country two two, two in the country two they're in number the country. two in the country yep. you're number three so just talk what you expect well, you, you know the augies they're, they're gonna bring it we yeah they're, they're bringing a really good team uh, well coached they're defending national champs they were second at the national duels but i tell you what it doesn't take much for our guys to remind them last year was the worst uh dual score we've ever had against them we got beat 33 to 3 last year uh, only won one match out of the 10 and our guys remember that and then they came back and we bounced back at regionals and flipped some of those matches so they know what's in store for them on, on Saturday they're excited for that opportunity uh, they know that it's a key to get them to wrestle those guys and and uh, then we have that opportunity at regionals and nationals again and so it's a really big duel for our seniors our three seniors uh, Noah Lice Gang and Nolan Hurdle and Zach Weiler and we're also honoring three of our wrestling managers that have been with us for four years the first time we've ever you know, really recognize them the, the way they should be. Uh, with Joe Atkins, who also plays softball here, and Aaron Hobbeck and Alex, uh, Alexis uh, Misko. So we're going to have six seniors being recognized. And we're just really excited about that as well. Should be a good weekend here. 20 wrestlers ranked among the three teams this weekend. Wow. Coach, let's talk about here. We're in January now. Yep. Just what you've seen from your team, what you expect here, how this week kind of will just help your team as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really good test, right? You know, as we get going through and we came off national duels, we got tested there. We had a couple, two good weeks of training because of the weather. We didn't get that competition in last weekend and so I really feel like you, you just got to see that little bit of improvement we talk about all the time it's that process are we getting better and addressing issues and man you got 60 some days to the NCAA championships you can get a lot better in those days but key weekend for us to, to come in and battle does it make or break your season it really doesn't but man it really lets you know where you're at so that's the part we're excited about and what have you seen from your team what do you like oh, about your team I, right now that's a great question like I, I just like this group of young men that come to work every day battle and they're very coachable uh, they do a really good job of supporting each other. I've seen these guys uh, face adversity um, and, and bounce back from it. Like we got beat in the semifinals of the national duels. They come back and beat a really good team for third and fourth. That shows a lot about this crew. And they're, they're fun to be around. They, they like wrestling for each other and wrestling for this university. And I, I think it takes all 36 guys, you know, battling every day uh, to make this program where it is. Thanks, Coach. You bet.